Hey crafties, Laura here and I'm in my craft room. Since many of us have a bit more time than usual while social distancing, I thought this would be a perfect time to show how to create an easy circuit and to light up and add sparkle to your cars and projects. Uh, real similar to this one I did here with the press switch. And then we'll have, I don't know, three or four uh, extra lights on our card. So I made this silhouette card front with a galaxy night sky showing a kid pointing up at, at the sky. And well, I think it's fine. It's, it's pretty. It's sparkly. It says you inspire me. I thought I need to make it a bit extra. It needs some bright stars showing up behind it. So I'm going to be showing you how today. Uh, and it's going to be easy. And I promise you can do this at home. Uh, if you also want to know how to create this card front, uh, click below to see the tutorial on my blog. Um, but today in the video, I'm just going to be showing you how to do the circuit. But basically, I used a uh, sponge for ink blending. I think I used uh, Melon Mambo, uh, Pool Party, and then I put a little um, black uh, ink on top of that with the sponge. That's just to make the sky. I stamped a silhouette. The silhouette is from Silhouette Scenes. I stamped that in black. I drew and colored uh, the ground with a black marker, and then I die cut out the sediment from black cardstock and glued it to vellum. Oh, and I embossed some stars. So this was done on very vanilla cardstock, and this is super important. So the LED lights are super bright, but they uh, won't show through super thick or dark cardstock. So uh, like on this one that I made before, um, I used uh, designer series paper, so that's thin enough that you can still see the lights through it. And the same with this very vanilla cardstock, you can still see your lights through it. It'll be even brighter because you won't have the DSP in the way. Um, but it shows that you will see little stars up in the sky. Okay, so for supplies, you'll need just a few things. And of course, I'm gonna have links on my blog below, but I wanna show you what I'm using. Uh, let's see, first you're gonna need coin cell batteries, 2032. Most people have these around their house, they're three volts. Um, this powers your circuit and will also end up being our button to press for your circuit card. Um, these I got in an 8-pack. Um, you can get them on Ikea, probably in, in even bigger quantities. Um, but it was a super good price for 8 batteries. Um, LED lights. Uh, these glow when powered. Let's see. These come in a lot of colors. Let me pull one out. But this is a 100-pack that I got of just white lights of the white LEDs, so these are going to last me a while. I don't know. It depends how long social distancing lasts. I might be making a lot of these cards. And if you can see, it has its contact points on two of the sides. Uh, I'll show you why that's important You're, when we make our card. And then lastly, we're going to need copper foil tape. This conducts the electricity from your battery to light up your LED lights. It forms a circuit. And it's also adhesive on the back. So this circuit could not be easier to make and it could be easier to make a light up card. So I'm gonna show you how I first draw out my parallel circuit. Trust me, it's not as, as hard as it sounds. And then we're gonna add our supplies and we're gonna create that nice night sky with stars in the background. So drawing out your parallel circuit, you're gonna first wanna pick where you want your battery and switch. So for me, I think it's gonna be where the kid's hand is. It's kind of like a ET, might be a good spot. So let's see, let's just, you just gotta eyeball it. It doesn't need to be perfect, it's a big area. Uh, I always make a little battery house. So this is just a scrap, it's a mm, two and a half by a one inch uh, scrap of white cardstock. And you can see inside I drew already uh, positive and negative. I try to have the positive up and the negative down, but for us it actually doesn't matter because these LEDs, they don't have a positive negative side. If they did, you'd want all the positives on one side of your track, but we don't need to worry about that today. But I'm just going to adhere this little house down. This is where our battery is going to live. Check out where it's going to be. Good. So that means the switch is going to be here. So when we press down the contact, we'll touch the battery together and form the circuit and you'll get a light. Okay. 
So next we're gonna pick where we want our stars. So honestly, it's a night sky, they can go anywhere. Let's put one here. And by stars, I obviously mean our LED lights. Maybe one here. I don't want it too low, but. And then one, maybe here. Okay, so this is where our LED lights are gonna go. So now your job is to connect these with uh, your copper foil. I always like to plan, so we're gonna draw it out. So remember, here's your battery where it's gonna go. So we're gonna have a piece of foil coming out this way. It's gonna be your positive side and your negative one is gonna be coming this way. So you're gonna have two tracks. Okay, so let's draw the first one out. Just connecting it to the first star. I hope you can see that. I try not to put them on the corners and I'll show you why. Do, do, do. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is where our track is gonna end. And so you're gonna have your positive one coming from right here, but we're not gonna go to that star first, we're gonna go to this one first. So we're gonna make a little a turn here. So your tracks, you're gonna want them to be close enough for both for your LEDs, the positive and negative, or both sides, all the contacts to touch it. So just when you're drawing it, it's not super important, but you know. You're going to want them to be fairly close to each other. See that? And it's going to end at this LED here. That'll form a complete circuit though, so that when it comes back and you touch your contact to the battery, it's going to light up. Now if you want more, obviously just continue the track around. I could. Now you know three is enough for, for one car for me. All right. So now let's get the electricity flowing. All right, so we're gonna take our copper foil tape and in a continuous piece over our tracks, we're gonna lay down. Okay, so it has to be continuous. It just helps really with the electricity uh, to have a, a nice flow. So it is adhesive on the back. So it makes it super easy. I just kinda unroll a bit. I start at the one side. Make sure it touches where you think your battery is going to go. All right. So at your corners, uh, like I said, you want it to be a continuous piece at your corners. What we're going to do, if there's any quilters out there, you know how to do the mitered corner. But if not, I'm going to show you real quick. We're going to fold it back on itself so that you have your sticky side up. We're going to flip it and kind of turn it so it's a 45 degree mitered corner. See how pretty that looks? Flatten straight out to the next corner. Fold it back, sticky side up. Actually get a little more tape out. Turn it at the 90 degree mitered corner. Yeah, it wasn't perfect, but it's still a continuous piece of copper. We're not making a quilt here and beautiful thing no one's going to see the under half so as long as the electricity flows it's all that matters and then for our last one flip it up 90 degrees and you can just cut it there we go that's our first track of copper all right so for the next one you're going to want to start it where your positive part of the battery is. So let's... <laughs> All right. This is just to make it a little easier. There we go. Start your tape right where the positive of the battery is going to be. Stick it on down. And make sure that they do touch underneath when you close it up. Because again, that's going to be your switch. Put it over the house and here I'm going to make it into a corner. Fold it back on itself, miter the corner. 
I'm going to do it again because I made kind of an awkward angle here when I drew out my template. Yep, fun things like this can be messy. Let me rip that off. Fold it back. Miter the corner. And fold it back. Miter the corner. Honestly, this is a good time if you want to grab a light just to make sure they are close enough to touch. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're going to touch copper on both sides. Okay. It's kind of fun playing with this copper stuff. And, oops, fold back. And miter the corner. And each card doesn't use all that much of this tape. And I got a roll of, God, I want to say like 50 yards, 100 yards, I don't know. Enough that I don't think I'm going to go through it too fast. All right, there we go. Fold back. They're in the corner. Mm. Try not to rip it, because Laura is messy. And make sure the copper doesn't touch. You know, the two tracks shouldn't be touching, or else you're going to short out your sweet new parallel circuit here. And last little bit. Come on, roll anymore. Fold it back on itself. Oops, I already fold. Ooh, oh no, oh no. Well, that should do. We'll just put that star a little closer. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Shh, don't tell you one. I think I can add a little bit. That's supposed to be a continuous piece, but. This is troubleshooting at its finest. There we go. All right. Great. All right, so we have our track laid down. Let's get our, uh, let's adhere our battery down. So again, it's just the 2032 little coin batteries. And the top side, you can see there's a little plus on it. So this is where it's going to go. And before you glue it down, let's just try. I've you ever get a funky battery that just doesn't work. I want to make sure it works. Okay, well, this one's going to be pain in the ass. All right, so you can see that it lights up really bright. Don't stare directly at them. They kind of hurt my eyes, and I get the weird little spots. So this guy, we can just... Uh, I don't wanna... Yeah, I just use this on it. If you prefer to use glue, that is absolutely fine. The contacts still work. You only need to glue down one side, obviously. <laughs> the bottom. All right. Okay, so then as soon as we get our LED lights on, it's gonna form a nice complete circuit. All right, so next we need, what do we have, three stars on this one? I don't know if I mentioned, but you can add as many stars as you want. I've heard the lights will get slightly dimmer as you add more. Um, I, I usually add three to five on my cards, and I've never noticed a significant change, but it could be a challenge. See how many you can add. All right, so we want one here. I think we had one here. And one up here. Is that going to look good? Uh, to stick them down, you can get these sticky if you want. I don't feel like they always work as well, but, and they're also quite expensive. So instead, I'll stick them down myself. Here's my <laughs> bag of glue dots. Let's 
Put them on the back of our little LEDs. Our little diodes. Here we go. Oopsie. Try to get it right in the center. Peel off your backing. And you're going to want to make sure that your contacts are touching your copper foil. Mm -hmm. Yes. Nice. All right, now we're going to do the rest. All right, that one's not even adhered down. <laughs> Again, don't stare directly at them. I, I, I kind of have those little uh, white fuzzies uh, in my eyes. It's kind of hard to see. <laughs> I think I joke about always cutting my nails right before I do a craft video, too. Just so y'all can watch me struggle. There we go. Where do we have our next star? Come on. Where do you want to be? All right. So what's happening here is that the contacts are having difficulty touching the um, copper foil. I've had this issue before, and honestly, we just whip out some good old tape to hold it down. Nothing special here. <laughs> there we go. So it has a glue down on the one side, and I just put a little tape on top. We don't want that sticking over the edge, so. Okay, third light. Oof, can't see anything. <laughs> I don't want this like on video. All right, last LED. Unless, of course, you're putting four, five, six on your card. Okay, so we got our third light to light up. What you were seeing before, I think, was a big part of discontinuing that piece of copper foil, the one that ripped on accident. So all I did was add it to a different part of the night sky. Lastly, with our night sky, we want to add our card front to our card. So we're going to be using some foil strips with this. You've probably seen me use these before for cards that are... A little taller than others. So they're just strips from Stampin' Up of foam adhesive. Oopsie. And all I do is take one off. Yeah, don't let it stick to your fingers. And put it along the bottom. And make sure it's flat. Along the top. But you also don't want to get in the way of your copper foil. So over here, I am going to just stick it down here uh, on the top and bottom, leaving room for where the battery is. So what size is that? This side. Bottom. But the other side could use it too. <clears throat> and just a little tiddly wink at the top. Okay. All right. We have our card front. All three batteries. Or, I'm sorry, all three LEDs are lighting. Peeling off our sticky back. This is the best part of a card. You get your last thing to do. You see all your hard work making something cool. And there we go. We have our nighttime sky that lights up. 
with our easy parallel circuit. So I hope you subscribe and you check back at Laura's Craft Closet for lots of paper crafting and stamping tips, tutorials, and fun. Happy crafting!